フルカウンター Alright, lads, welcome back to the Grand Cross video. So, a few days ago, during my 90s Grand Cross video, I realized that Kinder's buff she gets for her ultimate would actually kind of go crazy if Nanishi was able to ult with them on him. Nanashi is forever a sub slot carry, but for today, we're taking him out of the sub slot, put him in the front, ult rushing, and to see how much damage we can do with ultimate, and see if we can get over or close to that 1 million mark in geared or ungeared. My goal for the video was to bring Frowagin and to ult rush with both the characters, and to find the Mayel teams, because typically in PvP, Mayel teams typically have Ragnarok Bar in the sub slot, who is a red character, and I figured we actually might do a lot of damage towards him with a single target ultimate from Nanashi, because we do have type advantage, so that was basically the goal of what I should find throughout this video. Let's see if it works. Oh, is that a green with UCL? Oh, he's got single target skills. Could be a bot though. Oh, blue. Oh, yikes. Wait. <laughs> Didn't now CC me. Fair enough. Uh, I will say though, I haven't actually gotten my Nanashi actual. Uh, oh, we actually get ultimate straight away. Nice. We'd love to see it. I haven't gotten Nanashi's actual ultimate, the 6 6. It's only 4 6. So I'm missing two dupes. I've just spent 25 of my SSR tickets that I've been saving up for Chandler, and I didn't get him. So, uh, absolutely rib. I still have 125. Uh, oh, what are they? Oh, no. Is it a bot? Oh, it's a bot. Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll, we'll try it. See what, if we can get it to work first game, then this would be sick. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to use Echidna, obviously, first. Um, and then actually, me effect. And we'll use one Nanashi card just to get rid of it. So I actually, hopefully, don't get another actual. Okay, I always think he survives. He always survives it. And then now, hopefully, I don't get another card. Oh, I'd have killed. Okay, hopefully, Ragnarok Ban a sub slot. Can we need this? Oh, was it real player? <laughs> Why did he go for Frangin? <laughs> that Tamio? I, I can't tell what that is. No, okay, it was, it was, it was his actual little hood. Okay, Loi, we start first? What have I found? Is it a real player though? Hang on. It is a real player. See, I always say this. You, you get matched up with, with CC Timber towards you. Like, but I never find like high CC players. But when you watch Nagato, not of a big issue with massive CC, they find high CC because they're going up over to three. They're higher ranked than me, right? But you get my point. To be fair, probably should have used two actual Nanashi cards straight away just to uh, just to make sure we have no cards in hand. Because once again, we need to get them free buffs, right? They're free buffs towards that Amplify. Okay, we have a taunt. We take that. Okay, yeah, we're just going to... We're rushing Nanashi Ultimate, but we need to get rid of all them cards. Yeah, okay. Can this work, though? Um, so we need to use our Kin Ultimate, kill his whole team, probably. And hopefully, Ragnarok burn the sub slots where we can actually single target all him. But the problem is, right, is yeah, just getting the buffs with Nanashi. And if he's going to forfeit as well. Alright, this kills the whole team. That's the, this is the problem, like, they're gonna forfeit. Almost, almost, almost a million damage in the kid. I mean, she's not really at the, the main thing here, but like... Okay, Ragnarok Barn. Trip. Pug. Oh, we just could No, we got one card. Oh, bro, we're not gonna get the buff. But we did get the shield as well, though. Alright, uh, there's too much damage. Bear in mind, we're missing three buffs here, so it's massive. Oh, he forfeit too. Bro, yeah, this is gonna be impossible. Can okay, everyone's gonna forfeit. I mean, to be fair, the team will survive. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Ah, <laughs> uh, to be fair, Eskinos, though, he can actually feed into me. Um, yeah, we should go get yeah, the base of stats. Okay, we'll see. He's rushing ultimate as well. Of course. All right. I mean, we have a good setup if he goes for the kill here. Probably not, though. Yeah, bro. The, the first time I find Bond months, and this is what he does. I don't remember. Does this kill? I can't. <laughs> Bro, like, <laughs> leave the game. Okay. How you do it? Oh, rush me on barn, bro. It's cringe. It's cringe. Wait, if he kills me, I still have a buff. And doing it against Twiggo might be massive, you know. But I'm not going to get the Nanashi buff, though. Wait, boys. Let me cook. He's going to forfeit. Uh, yeah, yeah, he used two skills as well. He's going to forfeit. Cause bro, if I use it, if I use it towards Twiggo, like his stats are so low. No, I can't get it to work. <laughs> All right, we have found. Okay, oh, the buff remove. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I need to kill Rumuru then. Okay, actually, got a good start. If he goes, if he goes straight for the actual, uh, we're not gonna get the buff though. Yeah, we got kill Rumuru because Rumuru buff removed, so we have our buff some with our actual Kin Ultimate. I'm just gonna get drained here. Um, but like the chances of me killing it, like his whole team and or killing him and not killing his whole team, I will try. We'll try. We'll try. To be fair, he used a tier 2, which, um, 
probably should save that for now because now he's got buffer on if we have a nice year on his forward. So uh let's let's see if we can survive. Wait, he didn't get his ultimate he didn't get his passive to max out? Huh. Oh, I guess we, we don't have it on uh Fraudrin. Makes sense. Did it drain? It didn't drain. Okay, okay. Wait. Oh, I didn't even kill, bro. What the hell? I thought Eskin will kill. Okay, we do need to kill Rumor here, so I'm hoping this kills. It probably should. I can't debuff though, so we're losing damage here with a relic. Okay. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, okay, well, I guess he was in the sub slot. Okay, he did kill, so we have our ultimate here. But once again, we're not going to get the 90 buff, so it's not even max. Um, Yeah, okay, can we get a shield? We'll see if he, he's not forfeiting from the looks of it. All right, well, you straight away. It's not the best though, but like, let's see like what four, four actual uh, buffs do. Quick before the guy forfeits. All right, four, six, and four buffs. Nine percent damage increase. My. Yeah, bro. Well, okay, we we gotta get that up. We gotta get that up because we have four buffs on for all three. But yeah, we're missing four buffs basically. Plus down the dark type, so we can find like Ragnarok Barn. Like this could this could work. All right, Demon Team, but not maybe we we might be the suicide actually. This this might be this might actually work. <laughs> suicide in the channel. Oh, okay, it's a bot. Okay, it may it, yeah, it's gotta be a bot. It's gotta be a bot. Okay, okay, this is a bot though, but we've we've gotten it to work. Uh, maybe same person. Uh, yeah, same person. Uh, we just versed him and we basically won, but um, it wasn't like the way I wanted to win, so I probably didn't include it. So, uh, hopefully, he, nah, he's not gonna do it though, because he knows. Uh, but he did that. He got quite lucky with RNG. He got, he got a few single target skills. So, uh, yeah, he's probably going to watch ultimate, but he knows my, my kid that one shots him. So, uh, we'll see. All right, I'm going to use this skill because if, if a Fraudrin does die, it's going to merge into the actual. Um, it's going to merge into a T2. So, just, this this might work. But he's going to forfeit, though, because he didn't even let me all last time. And I know because I already versed him, but he does have ultimate escort in the sub slot. All right, two skills. I mean, if it's two tier ones or tier one, tier two, maybe it kills. Okay, yeah. Okay, he's probably gonna fourth, but but as long as he doesn't, as long as we don't get a nice buff here, he's got a forfeit. He did it last time. We might have the setup as well. Well, we do, but he's probably gonna kill me. No. No, we had the setup. No. <laughs> All right, male team. Hopefully, not nice in the sub slot. We we don't really like that. Uh, but hopefully we get um. Should I move to the left just to get the merger? I don't know. We'll see. Nah, it doesn't matter too much actually. Uh, okay, no nice buff. So hopefully Ragnarok bar. But the thing is, if it is Ragnarok bar, you got obviously attack rate stat buff. And um, I've noticed without the base stats, I do die very very quickly here. Okay, he's using two cards here. Unless he's just got two single targets. Okay. Okay, you're always crit, you know. Yikes. All right. Uh, go for a kidna, please. Okay. Maybe doable here, boys. Hang on. We got to use all of our nanny cards straight away. I have no boss of a kidna, basically. But we're not really trying to kill his whole team here because we don't want the full for straight away. Okay. Uh, I might kill with uh, with my actual... um. Yeah, yikes. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't fall and Hopefully he's a Ragnarok Barn. Oh, my God. No, we had the setup. No, no, we had the setup. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few days now since the last attempt at this. It's because obviously I was busy with the April Fourth video, but uh, I did do some testing to see if it was worth bringing someone like Margaret in a sub slot over someone like Merlin, and uh, I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure I got less damage using Margaret. Could be a bot. To hang on, let's see. But uh, yeah, Margaret in a sub slot. One, I may not get a buff skill, and at that point, we're losing that 35% damage increase. And also, it's harder to rush ultimate. Okay, hang on. What's this guy? Uh... Is it a bot? I think it was, you know. I think the CC was low. Red Sario? No, I didn't get the buff from my Margaret. I mean, my Merlin. Okay, this might be a good test here. Uh, even though it was a bot, let's see how much damage it does here. I don't, can we, I don't think we can crit. Not get Sario. Maybe, I don't know. 600k, yeah, I don't think we can get anything higher than that, you know. I think I had to be like higher dupes. Mine's only 4-6, obviously, right? So, I think, um, we might try geared now, but if, if I'm in gold fives, like, I don't think it'll work. 
All right, so yeah, we're in gear now. We are against, obviously, bots because I am gold five. But we're just doing for testing purposes, right? Uh, can I curious how much damage my kid is going to do here? Because it is a 6-6 six, six in gear. I don't usually play gear. 1.7. Okay, you know what? I haven't played gear in such a long time. <laughs> that is actually crazy to me. Um, we've done it. We've done it. First go. Okay. But there is the unknown. Puts a stance up. Oh, never mind. Okay, you know what? I mean, that's got good stats, though. Level 90, though, probably does make it a little bit better. But um, let's see. Not max, but what our best nanny she can do on my account currently right now. 1.3 million, baby. We did it. That was the goal for the video, just to get 1 million. And it is possible. Although, to be fair, in a real game, I probably wouldn't be able to do that. Because I imagine if I started second against a male team, I'd probably end up dying because the AV does crazy damage. But uh, yeah, boys, that's going to wrap up today's video. It has been a long attempt to even get this one. Uh, to be fair, we actually did have a few attempts where we could have gotten like a good RNG, or at least what I wanted to do with the Mac Nanishi buffs into uh, ungeared against a real player. But like you saw, they always just forfeited. So, so I did imagine the only time I was ever going to get this actually work was against a bot because they actually don't forfeit. So a uh, bit of a weird video, but we tried something out when we knew that I don't really see too many people do. So boys, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, we might do it again when we get more buffs for unknowns or when I get my Nanashi 6-6. So boys, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, peace.